For today, I'll be presenting uh, today's hits, tomorrow's classics, the Metro Manila Popular Music Festival from 1977 to 1985. The Metro Manila Popular Music Festival, known more popularly as the Metro Pop, was an annual songwriting competition that was organized by the Popular Music Foundation of the Philippines from 1977 to 1985. Between 1977 and 1985, Metro Pop organized a total of eight competitions. The competitions did not distinguish amateurs from professionals from 1977 to 1980, but Metro Pop decided to put up a separate category for professionals from 1981 onwards. It created two divisions in 1981, one for amateur composers and a separate one for professional composers. Metro Pop's proponents include Antonio Barrero, Bert Timbol, and Chidora Valencia, and Metro Pop was beamed nationwide live via domestic satellite or DOM site over RPN9. This is uh, the first Metro Pop album in 1978, and then the second Metro Pop in 1979, the third Metro Pop in 1980. The fourth Metro Pop in 1981, the fifth Metro Pop in 1982, the sixth Metro Pop in 1983, the seventh Metro Pop in 1984, and the last Metro Pop in 1985. For this presentation, I decided to appropriate three phrases to describe Metro Pop songs. Either they are pangkalye, pasakalye, or pangjukbox. The Metro Manila Popular Music Fest Festival often celebrated nuances of what can be considered pang festival. The pang festival songs for me characterize lush arrangements, universalist themes, and positive values. This particular variety was frequently replicated to garner a place in national and international music festivals, usually fast-paced, instantly appealing and memorable, and they were frequently performed as show-stopping opening or closing numbers by school and office choirs and professional singing groups. They were characterized by prize winners and finalists such as Kay Ganda ng Ating Musika by Ryan Cavillayop in 1978, Pagdating Mo by Nonoy Galliardo in 1978, Narito Ko Umiibig by Nonong Pedero in 1978, Gusto Kong Umawit by Ernie Tagle in 1979, Isang Mundo Isang Awit by Nonong Pedero in 1980, Ikaw Ako Tayo Magkakapatid by Topi Lozano in 1980, along with several songs like Laraon by Thomas Santos in 1980, Magsimula Ka by Ginestan in 1981, Pagkaisa by Juan Miguel Salvador in 1981, Babaika by Ananias Montano in 1981, Nothing I Want More by Jun Latonian Tilly Moreno in 1982, Be My Lady by Venancio Saturno in 1983, and Salamat Salamat Musi by Gary Granada in 1984. In 1978, the inaugural winner, Kay Ganda Na Ating Musika, composed by Ryan Kayabyab and interpreted by Haji Alejandro, in many ways, Kay Ganda Na Ating Musika became the symbol or the model for punk festival songs. It won grand prize in the first Metro Manila Popular Music Festival in 1978. It was grand prize in Soul Music Festival in 1978. It ran something like this, Kay Ganda Ng Ating Musika. And in, and in many ways, the song was the theme song for the development and the rise of OPM during the 1970s. Isang Mundo Isang Awit by Nonong Pedero, now known as Dero Pedero, was the grand prize winner in 1980. It was interpreted by Leo Navarro. It was grand prize in Metro Pop in 1980, but it was also grand prize in Soul Song Festival in 1980. Uh, it runs something like, Shetem, Te Amo, I Love You. And it was very popular, especially for school plays and during United Nations weeks in schools and universities all over the Philippines. Gary Granada in 1984 composed Salamat Salamat Musica. It was interpreted by Nanette Inventor. It was grand prize winner in the seventh Metro Pop. And then Gary Granada re-recorded for the album Spagita ng Ngayot Kailanman in 2005. The song goes this way. Salamat Salamat Musica, Lahat ng Panahon. Maasahan ka. And Kagandahan, composed by Butch Montserrat, interpreted by Filipina. It's actually a song that was uh, interpreted by three female vocalists 
uh, Nanette Inventor, Bob Simulina, and Marian Science, who are all alumni of the University of the Philippines. It won third prize in the professional division behind Odette Quesada Still I Met You in 1983 and Venancio Saturnos Akoy Ako. The song was revived by ABS-CBN as theme song for the Philippine version of Betty La Fea, uh, starring Bea Alonso in 2008. And the song runs this way. Kaya tandaan nyo, ganda ay kumukupas, ngunit ang pagkatao ay hindi lumilipas. There's another variation from Punk Festival. There are songs in Metro Pop that I refer to as Pasakali. Pasakali normally would refer to Prelude to something else. In this case, it was Prelude to the opening of, of Filipinos' minds in regard to social issues happening in the country during the 1970s and the early 80s. And uh, for me, Pasakali are songs in Metro Pop that contain very strong political or social messages. These entries narrowly escape the prying eyes of the local censors during that time. These songs include Anak by Freddie Aguilar in 1978, Tayo'y Mga Pinoy by Heber Bartolome in 1978, Bulag Pipi at Bingi, Isang pag by Snafurigor in 1979, Lupa by Charo Unite and Ernie de la Peña in 1979. Sino Ang Baliw by Elizabeth Barcelona in 1981. Isang Dakot by Venancio Saturno in 1982. And Saking Kubo by Gary Granada in 1982. Anak by Freddie Aguilar in 1978 was interpreted also by Freddie Aguilar. The song was a finalist in the first Metro Pop, but it did not win. However, the song became an international hit, especially in Japan, Korea, Indonesia, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, and in many parts of Western Europe. Anak was also translated in 26 languages, and it inspired a prize-winning film by Rory Quintas during uh, uh, when, when Star Cinema produced a film in 2000 starring Vilma Santos. It was also the Philippine entry to the 73rd Academy Awards for Best Foreign Language Film. A Sin from the 1978 album Masamong Kapaligiran also recorded the songs, the song, and other artists that recorded the song included Yoli Sassis, Larry Matias, Tito Vic and Joey, and uh, Regine Velasquez, and many others. Gary Valenciano also recorded the song, a soundtrack for the movie Anak in the year 2000. Sharon Cuneta had another version of it, Kuli Desma did, Side A, and uh, the Kelly family in 1980. There were many other singers in Germany, in, in Hong Kong, in China that recorded the song. They included uh, Michael Horn in Germany, Cusco, and uh, in locally, Ramon Jacinto, Mitoy uh, Yonting, and Noel Cabangan also rendered their own editions of, uh, of Anak. Uh, Alan Tam in Hong Kong had a Cantonese version. Kenny C. also had another version in Mandarin. Uh, Jody Chang had a Taiwanese version. And Sarah Hieronimo in 2012, for a status 2012, had her own version. Lupa, another Metro Pop song, was composed by Charo Onita and Ernie de la Peña in 1979. It was interpreted by Rico Puno. It was third prize in the second Metro Pop, but it was recorded many years later by Asin for the album Mastan Mong Kapaligiran under Viper Music. Babae Ka was composed by Annie Montano, interpreted by Something Special, won the grand prize for the professional edition during the fourth Metro Pop in 1981. It won the bronze prize during the 1981 Soul Song Festival. It was frequently performed by feminists during rallies and protests. They include Susan Fernandez, the late feminist singer who popularized the song after the release of her album Habi at Himig. Uh, it was recorded under the auspices of Forum for Rural Concerns in Kalayan in 1990. It was also popularized by Inang Laya in 1994 for Dipro Records. And the song would run something like this. Baba ka, inabang samba, ipinatagtatanggol, etc. So, uh, another category for uh, Metro Pop songs would be Pang Joke Box. In later years, commercial appeal dominated the winning entries of the Metro Pop, largely because they felt that because it was supposedly pop music, it has to be more popular. So the organizers were actually conflicted in regard to the context and nature of pop vis-a-vis -vis festival in Metro Pop. So entries with strong commercial appeal were privileged subsequently over traditionally Pang Festival entries. 
For example, songs like Give Me a Chance by Odette Casada in 1982, You Made Me Live Again by Nonoy Tan in 1982, Memories by Paul Morales in 1982, Pain by Alvina Eileen C. in 1983, Till I Met You by Odette Quesada in 1983, Gabay Mo Ako by Ray Valera in 1983, A Smile in Your Heart by Renée Noveles in 1984, I've Got What It Takes by Ray Anfuentes in 1984, You Turned Me On by Jogra de la Torre in 1984. Also, the song Till I Met You by Odette Quesada in 1983, interpreted by Kula Desma, won the grand prize in the 6th Metro Pop Professional Division. Subsequently, Kula Desma interpreted the song when she received the Salem Music Awards in 1989 at the Royal Albert Hall in London. But eventually, also, the, the, the song inspired a film in 2006 and a TV series in 2016. The song goes this way. Till I met you, I never knew what love was. Till I met you, this feeling seems to grow more every day. I love you more each day. The film starred Robin Padilla, Legit Velasquez, Eddie Garcia, and Mark Reyes. And the film version of Till I Met You grossed more than 40 million uh, uh, during the first week. And it grossed more than 100 million during uh, its run, during its first month. Uh, screening worldwide. The TV series starred James Reed and Nadine Lustre and J.C. Santos and was directed by Antoinette Hadaune from the UP College of Mass Communication. Uh, another Pangjukbak song would be Give Me a Chance by Odette Quesada. It was recorded in 1982. It was interpreted by Rick Segreto. It was second prize in the amateur division of this, the fifth Metro Pop. It was the Philippine entry to the 1982 Tokyo Music Festival. The song goes this way. Uh, you, you've just got to give me a chance. Another Pangjukbak song would be Be My Lady by Vinancio Sator in 1983. It was interpreted originally by Pedrito Montaira, recorded by Matt Monroe in 1983, Party Nevera in 1994, and Jason D. in 2016. It was also a song that inspired a TV series starring Daniel Matsunaga and Erich Gonzalez. Ako Yako is another Panjukbak song composed by Venancio Satuno, interpreted by Lerma de la Cruz. It plays second behind Till I Met You in the second Metro Pop Professional Division. The song was the only Philippine entry in the Song Music Festival. It has the distinction, or the lack of distinction, of being the only Philippine entry that was unable to win in Seoul. The song was revived in 2018 as the theme song of ABS events drama Soul Sisters starring Erich Gonzalez, Tessie Tomas, Dina Bonovi, and Cherry Pie Pecache. And the song goes this way. Ako'y ako na di dapat mawalan ng pag-asa Ako'y ako sa pagdating muli ng isang umaga I'd like to talk about another song and the title is Umagang Kay Ganda. And for me, this is an aberration to the three categories that I have created earlier. Aberration because it is not quite pang festival, it's not quite pasakale, and not, it's not quite pang jukebox. And the song is entitled Umagang Kay Ganda, composed by Butch Montserrat and Greek Orteleza in 1978. It was interpreted by Ray Anfuentes and Tilly Moreno, and it did not place during the second Metro Pop, it actually placed seven. However, there was massive airplay for the song in the 1970s and the 1980s. And in many ways, it was probably the song that registered most with the millennials because a few years ago, it was adopted by ABS-CBN for its morning show, Umagang Kay Ganda. And the song goes this way. Basta tayo'y magkasama, laging mayroong umagang kay ganda. And until now, the song is still being played worldwide via Filipino channel and not just nationwide via ABS-CBN. Nothing I Want More is another aberration because it's not quite pang festival, it's not quite uh, pasakale, it's not quite pang jukebox. It was composed by June Latonia and Tilly Moreno in 1982. It was interpreted by the late Eugene Villarus and Louis Reyes, both first-generation members of the New Minstrels. It only placed second to Venacio Saturnus Isang Dakot during the fifth Metro Pop, but it was the song that we sent to Korea as Philippine entry to the 1982 Seoul Song Festival where it won the grand prize. Subsequently, it was recorded by Sharon Conetta for the album Nothing I Want More in 2001. And uh, a little t trivia, Sharon requested Eugene Villarus and Tilly Moreno to be her backup during the, so the, the recording of the song. 
Uh, by way of a conclusion, despite the diversity of themes and issues raised by these compositions, festival songs enjoyed tremendous airplay. A number of these songs won prizes in international music festivals. Government heightened its decree to compel radio stations to play original Filipino music every hour, six, seven, or eight times in an hour. Niche radio stations such as DWLM-FM, owned by the Villar family, and DZRJ, owned by RJ Jacinto, showcased Filipino artists and compositions. The festival also saw the emergence of new vocalists like Freddie Aguilar, Joey Albert, who was part of the New Minstrels in one of the editions of the Metro Pop, Heber Bartolome, Janet Basco, Dulce, Eileen Espina, Ja Morales, Martin Rivera, Odette Quesada, Manuel Reynes, Rick Segreto, and Vernie Varga. The success of Metro Pop also inspired the proliferation of succeeding national songwriting competitions such as the KBP or the Kapisayan ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas Music Fest in 1986, the Metro Pop Song Festival of GMA Network that ran from 1996 to 2003, Himigandog by ABS-CBN from 2000 to 2003 and 2013 to the present, and the Field Pop, the Philippine Popular Music Festival organized by the MVP group from 2012 to the present. The festival also foreshadowed the longevity of established artists such as the Apo Hiking Society, Haji Alejandro, Anthony Castello, Nanette Inventor, New Minstrel School of Desma, Celeste Ligaspi, Rico Puno, Lea Salonga, Leo Valdez, and Ray Valera. Many songs from Metro Pop continue to be revived, recorded, performed live by contemporary artists. Some of these songs inspired the production of films and TV series. And true to its moniker, Today's Hits, Tomorrow Classics, Metro Pop propelled these artists and composers into what many acclaimed as the golden age of Philippine popular music.